OpenAI just dropped a bombshell. They have unleashed GPT-40 long output, a game-changing AI model that cranks out responses up to 16 times longer than its predecessor. This isn't just another incremental update. It's a seismic shift that could redefine how we interact with AI. But what does this mean for you, for developers, and for the future of AI? Let's dive in and unpack this groundbreaking development. GPT-40 long output unveiled. Yesterday, without fanfare, OpenAI released a web page announcing GPT-40 long output. This new model isn't just an upgrade, it's a revolution in AI communication. At its core, GPT-40 long output is built on the same foundation as the original GPT-40 model released in May. But there's a crucial difference. It can generate responses up to 64,000 tokens long, dwarfing the original's 4,000 token limit. To put that in perspective, we're talking about the difference between a short essay AI and a 200-page novel. But what exactly are tokens and why do they matter? Tokens are the building blocks of AI language models. They're not just words, but fragments of words, punctuation marks, and even spaces. The word hello is a single token, but so is hi. This granular approach allows AI models to understand and generate language with incredible nuance. The implications of this expanded token capacity are vast. Developers can now create applications that generate in-depth reports, complex code, or detailed creative writing pieces, all in a single interaction. But the question remains, why did OpenAI make this move? And what does it mean for the future of AI? The hidden motivations. Why OpenAI bet big on long-form AI? OpenAI's decision to launch GPT-40 long output wasn't made in a vacuum. It's a direct response to user feedback, particularly from their developer community. An OpenAI spokesperson revealed, we heard feedback from our customers that they'd like a longer output context. We are always testing new ways we can best serve our customers' needs. This customer-centric approach is telling. It suggests that OpenAI is not just pushing the boundaries of what's technically possible, but what's practically useful. They're listening to the market and adapting their technology to meet real-world demands. But there's more to this story than meets the eye. The launch of GPT-40 long output comes at a time when OpenAI is reportedly facing financial pressures. By offering a more powerful tool, they're potentially opening up new revenue streams and solidifying their position in the competitive AI market. The alpha testing phase, set to last a few weeks, is crucial. It's not just about ironing out technical kinks, it's about understanding how this extended output capability translates into real-world applications. Will it truly meet the needs of developers and end-users? Or will it open up unforeseen challenges? The technical tightrope balancing context and output. One of the most intriguing aspects of GPT-40 long output is how it manages to increase output capacity without expanding the overall context window. Both the original GPT-40 and this new variant maintain a maximum context window of 128,000 tokens. So how does it work? It's all about balance and trade-offs. In the original GPT-40, users could input up to 124,000 tokens and receive up to 4,000 tokens in response. With GPT-40 long output, users can now input up to 64,000 tokens and potentially receive up to 64,000 tokens in return. This flexibility allows for a range of use cases. Need a detailed analysis of a lengthy document? You can input more text and get a comprehensive response. Working on a creative writing project? You can provide a brief prompt and let the AI generate a long-form piece. But this flexibility comes with a caveat. Users and developers need to make conscious choices about how they allocate their token budget. It's a delicate balance between input and output, requiring thoughtful consideration of each use case. The price of progress. In a surprising move, OpenAI has priced GPT-40 long output aggressively at $6 USD per million input tokens and $18 per million output tokens. It's only slightly more expensive than the regular GPT-40 model. This pricing strategy sends a clear message. OpenAI wants this technology to be accessible. Compare this to the pricing of other models in the GPT-4 family. Regular GPT-40, $5 per million input tokens, $15 per million output tokens, GPT-40 Mini, 15 cents per million input tokens, 60 cents per million output tokens. 
The relatively small price increase for such a significant capability boost is noteworthy. It suggests that OpenAI is prioritizing adoption and real-world application over short-term profit maximization. This pricing strategy could have far-reaching implications. It lowers the barrier to entry for developers and businesses looking to leverage advanced AI capabilities, but it also raises questions about the sustainability of this approach, especially given the rumors of OpenAI's financial challenges. The Exclusive Club, Alpha Testing, and its Implications Currently, access to GPT-40 long output is limited to a select group of trusted partners. This exclusivity serves multiple purposes. It allows OpenAI to gather focused feedback, identify potential issues, and refine the model before a wider release. But this approach also creates an air of mystery and anticipation. Who are these trusted partners? What are they discovering about the capabilities and limitations of the new model? The tech community is buzzing with speculation. This controlled rollout is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it ensures that the technology is thoroughly vetted before reaching a broader audience. On the other, it risks creating a divide between those with early access and those left waiting. The outcomes of this alpha testing phase will be crucial. They'll not only shape the future of GPT-40 long output, but potentially influence the direction of AI development as a whole. Will we see a rapid expansion of access, or will OpenAI opt for a more cautious approach? How GPT-4 O long output could reshape industries. The potential applications of GPT-4 O long output are vast and varied. In the field of content creation, it could revolutionize how we approach long-form writing. Journalists could use it to generate in-depth investigative reports, while novelists might leverage it for story outlining or even collaborative writing. In the software development world, the implications are equally significant. The ability to generate and explain complex code snippets in a single interaction could streamline the development process. It might even pave the way for more accessible coding, allowing non-experts to describe their desired functionality and receive workable code in return. But it's not just about creating new content. GPT-40 long output could transform how we interact with existing information. Imagine feeding it a lengthy legal document and asking for a comprehensive analysis, or using it to summarize and explain complex scientific papers. However, these possibilities also raise important questions. How will we ensure the accuracy of AI-generated long-form content? What are the ethical implications of using AI for tasks that traditionally required human expertise and judgment? The human factor, challenges and considerations. As exciting as the possibilities are, the launch of GPT-40 long output also brings challenges. One primary concern is information overload. With AI capable of generating novel length responses, how do we ensure that the output remains focused and relevant? There's also the question of AI hallucinations, instances where the model generates plausible sounding but factually incorrect information. This risk potentially increases with longer outputs as there's more room for errors to creep in. Moreover, the ability to generate long form content raises copyright and authorship concerns. Who owns the rights to AI generated novels or research papers? How do we attribute such work? These challenges underscore the need for responsible development and use of AI technology. As GPT-40 long output moves beyond the alpha testing phase, addressing these concerns will be crucial for its successful integration into various fields. The future of AI communication. The launch of GPT-40 long output is more than just a product release. It's a glimpse into the future of AI-human interaction. As these models become more sophisticated and capable of handling longer, more complex exchanges, the line between AI assistance and collaboration may blur. We might be moving towards a future where AI becomes a true thought partner, capable of engaging in extended, nuanced discussions on complex topics. This could revolutionize fields like education, research, and creative endeavors. However, this future also demands that we, as humans, evolve in how we interact with AI. We'll need to become more adept at guiding these interactions, asking the right questions, and critically evaluating the responses we receive. The launch of GPT-40 long output is not the end of a journey, but the beginning of a new one. It opens up new possibilities, but also new responsibilities. 
As we stand on the brink of this new era in AI communication, one thing is clear. The way we interact with technology is changing, and we must be prepared to change with it. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now.